What's up, YouTube? Rusty Spall with RC5Fitness.com. Well, today is Wednesday, and I'm supposed to be at work, uh, but I wasn't feeling very well. The last couple of days, I've had a scratchy, really sore throat, and, and it just kept getting a little worse, a little worse. And, you know, the weather's kind of crazy here in North Carolina. So uh, I thought it was just allergies, and so I doubled up on the allergy medicine and did everything that I was supposed to do and do a little chloroseptic spray in the morning and go to work. And <clears throat> I get up about 5... 45 in the morning to get ready for work and when I got up this morning my throat was so sore that I couldn't even swallow I was brushing my teeth and couldn't even even swallow water afterwards and uh, and so I gargled some mouthwash and that didn't kill it so I thought man I better not go to work I better uh, could get checked out so I took my flashlight on my phone and I you know stuck my tongue out in the mirror and looked back there and there's some big white ulcers in the back of my throat so I thought yeah that's not good so I went to the doctor this morning and it turns out I got strep throat so he wrote me out of work for a couple of days put me on 10 days of antibiotics so uh, I don't know where I would have picked that up uh, we had a huge revival at the church and you know you shake hands with a lot of people and and plus I work you know at a local fitness center I could have picked it up there I work at a hospital I could have picked it up there so who really knows so uh, I'm actually going to get my prescription now so, um, you guys just come on and go with me. So, we'll be back with you in just a little bit. What's up, YouTube? Rusty Spall coming to you live from the car. Uh, I just uh, came out of the drugstore and I got my prescription and uh, they put me on penicillin looks like that's going to tear the old stomach up um, for 10 days so two a day for 10 days man so that's going to that's going to dictate a little bit of different dietary um, supplementation because I want to take in some yogurt and stuff to get that good bacteria back into my gut because antibiotics if you don't know this they don't only kill bad bacteria they kill good bacteria as well they don't have a way of deciding or discerning uh, what kind of bacteria they kill they just kill it all which can mess up the uh, flora in your colon and that's why you get the runs and you get bad cramps stomach pain because it kills all the good bacteria along with the bad bacteria so that's going to be fun for 10 days but anyway that's okay we're going to do what we can and um, won't be no working out today or tomorrow at the gym so i guess i'll just do some some static uh work on just some uh, single muscle groups at home but um i don't want to get too hot and sweaty and, and and turn this into something else so i'll just do some light work and workouts at home but um Something I did want to I want to bring up is uh, you know I don't advocate anybody drinking energy drinks. A lot of people I see drinking these Monster Energy drinks and all these other kinds and NOS and all this other stuff. Let me tell you something. Uh, you know if, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Uh, you know, and I don't I don't I'm not harping on these companies at all because these beverage companies they literally uh, put ever how much caffeine they want in there. And that's the big kicker is you don't know how much caffeine's in there because the FDA doesn't regulate. Uh, any kind of supplements they don't regulate protein powder uh, or any other kind of supplement or vitamin the only thing that they uh, really go after these companies about is making false medical claims so if you if some supplement says oh guaranteed to get rid of this or guaranteed to get rid of that hammer toe gout whatever <laughs> um, it, it's a lie and uh, they can be charged for that. There was one company, and I don't want to mention the name, but they were fined $10 million a couple of years ago for claiming that their uh, products uh, were curing diseases. So you gotta be very careful what you put in your body. So, but if you're gonna drink the energy drinks, drink the, the no calorie ones, though, because there's a lot of hidden sugars and stuff in that, just like there is with soft drinks and stuff. So that's my tip for you today. Uh, we're gonna get these drugs and, uh, and get to the house and chill out. I've got a conference call I gotta be on, unfortunately, for work. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You're on the clock or you're on the clock. So, see you guys after a while. What's this ball with RC5 Fitness coming back at you? Um, it's been a crazy day uh, of sickness and disease, pestilence, 
I, uh, of course, told you earlier I had to go to the doctor and then to the pharmacy and everything, and <clears throat> and uh, it's just been crazy. I had to get on a conference call for work, and even though I'm sick and all that, so and you know, antibiotics. You know, we talked about earlier. Um, antibiotics can mess up your flora in your in your colon and in your digestive tract, and the best thing to combat that with is yogurt. And I found that this uh, oikos. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. If you guys can see that Oikos Triple Zero, it only has. See if you can zoom in there. 15 grams of protein, and it actually has. Uh, if you can really see that, I don't know if I can zoom in. Enough, but I'll read it to you. That actually has zero grams of fat, uh, and it has uh, 15 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, but it has 14 grams of carbs but it has six grams of dietary fiber, so six from 14 is eight. So it has eight grams of actual carbohydrates. So that's really good. That's 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 a winner in my choice, in my book. So, And I've got the banana cream, so we're gonna try that out and taste test it and see what's up. Be right back, let me get the top off. This can't do it while I'm holding the camera, so let's see what's up. So let's try it out. Mmm, that's pretty good, guys. It tastes pretty good. So. I would say this gets the uh, thumbs up of approval on the Oikos Triple Zero Banana Cream Yogurt. So, Rusty Spall signing off for the night. You guys have a great evening from RC5Fitness.com. Take it easy.